Bank of America Stadium about to play host for this matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. Phil, how about the quarterback position? Here you've got on one side one of the iconic figures of the game, and another side you've got a player who would like to one day break through that and be considered one of the best. Well, Jim, when we're talking about the star quarterback, we know that he, everything is going to be built around him. He's going to have many chances today to have success. And when you're a quarterback trying to rise to that level, well, you're not going to get all those chances. The team is going to curtail what you do a little bit until you prove to them that they can put all of it on your shoulders. So play well here today. You'll get more chances down the road. The Panthers will go with the pistol on this play. Newton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Gets his feet down right near the chalk. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. First and ten. And Williams is going to receive the toss. He's into the open. D'Angelo Williams with a nice piece of running on that play. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. It's now second down. Newton still has it after some nifty play action. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Third down. Newton's takes the snap, and it's a quarterback sneak. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field the offense runs it they are ready to get it done and they do and stop the offense for a short game quarterback has it and follows the surge anytime it's fourth and short the defense the first thing you've got to be ready for is the quarterback sneak stack everybody inside make them run outside they don't do it the quarterback gets the first down on the sneak First down here after the run. Williams on the toss. He's in for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Panthers line up now for the point after. Extra point is good. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. To send him to the 20 yard line. First down coming up. McCoy is going to secure the handoff. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. The Eagles get a first down. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really, just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Now first and ten. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. 
and now they have a good situation. Second down following the run. Screen. He makes the catch. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Now looking at third down. Brown's taking the handoff. They run right. Shakes off the tackle. No doubt about it. Touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The Eagles now will tack on the extra point. And the extra point is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Just a quick drop back, challenging. A foot race to the end zone. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. What an effort and a touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. They've got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Panthers with an extra point try on the way. Driving extra point is good. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. The returner opts for the touchback, and the offense will begin at the 20. McCoy's got it on the handoff. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. First and 10, throwing now to his left, and he was wide open. Touchdown! There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. 
Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Go run it off the toss. It's away from the stack. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. And how about that when it had it all in its speed. Good moves, good blocks. Exciting touchdown. The Panthers for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. That's a timeout call. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. No one's going to get him now. He's at the 50. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Vic in shotgun formation. Running away from the pressure. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a the run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. The running back goes in motion. That wraps up the first quarter here in Charlotte. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. Vic will be under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. A tackle that had to be made. And that'll set up goes down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. McCoy's going to take the handoff now. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here? and keep them from scoring a touchdown. They're able to move the chains after that last run. McCoy. And again, there's nowhere to run. Maybe a yard. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Second and goal from the five. Gets it again here. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. How about the defensive line? getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Plenty of defensive backs out of the field for this one. Third and goal from the seven. Incomplete. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Oh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. The Panthers come out in a dime package. It's now fourth and goal. 
That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. First and ten, the throw to the left. Interception. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. First down here. McCoy's handed the football. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down here. And out of the shotgun. Going across the middle. And he's almost intercepted. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Third down now. Looking to the right side and throwing. A takeaway. Attack is made. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. They got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First and 10. He gets to toss. They tackle him for a loss. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. It's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. How did he drop that? These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Smith's in the slot. Third and 11. He's looking to the right here. That ball has been picked off. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? They come to the line, and it's first down. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Michael Vick will be under center. Three-step drop. Ball's loose. They recover their own fumble. Finds the sacred sod. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Eagles for the extra point. It's good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. And he'll start his return. It's first down as they head to the line. Williams got it on the toss. Got a little crease. 
What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. Williams is in the backfield. First and ten. It's intercepted! And he's brought to the ground. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. The Eagles are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're big. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Smith's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And here we have second down. He'll fire it out to the left. Interception. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Split backfield here. First down and 10. Escaping the pressure. Secures it with two hands. They've got him down there. Nowadays, we see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain, stepping up in the pocket, getting outside, and more and more we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. Fix going back to the air on this play. Brings it into his body, and he'll step out of bounds. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Quick, quick, back over. The quarterback is coming to the quick, line, quick, hoping quick, to quick. avoid being sacked for a third time. Keekly able to quiet the cause. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Second down coming up quarterback flips it runs it across touchdown when you got a lead you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown it's fun to watch the other team will they stay patient or will they panic my bet is they'll panic the Eagles with the PAT to come count it The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff.
and Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. Blindly spins away from the hit. Well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Lined up in the pistol formation. Throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Olsen's playing out of position in the backfield here. The pass is intercepted. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. McCoy is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second down and ten. Gets away from the pressure. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Looking across the middle. Tipped. Incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position, make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. McCoy's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Looking to the right side and throwing. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a hey, tough position. Down, down, First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Makes the grab. Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Is made. Ball is out. The offense was able to recover. For the ball, the Panthers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. First down, following the long play. Newton's going to take it from the gun. Reaches out and snatches it. Really important they find a way to score in this drive here so close to the goal line. they got to get back in this game. And if they find a way to score, even though they'll still be behind, it'll give them a lot of confidence. Picks up maybe three. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Inches to go. First down here after the completion. Newton's dead. He takes it across. It is a touchdown. You've got to be able to take advantage of the quarterback sneak. If the defense doesn't line up properly, find the weak spot and go there to score. An extra point is good. The kicker's ready to go. And he begins his return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. So that's going to do it for the first half. Eagles are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Eagles are leading by seven.
twists away from the hit. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. He's brought down. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Oh, almost caught. Second down. Three step drop. Throws to the right. Right on the money. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. McCoy's going to secure the handoff. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Offense lines up here. Third and goal at the three. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The defense comes out of the dime. Now or never. Quentin Michael picks off that pass. He's in the clear. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Second and seven. Got a little screen set up here. And he's brought down by Ryans. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Third and two. Eyeing that left side. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it, and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. And Williams has shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. So that's not going to get it done here, and the offense is going to turn it over on downs. But play results in a turnover on downs. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Goes to the left. Star Latulale in on that play. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Right where it had to be. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route when we were kids. That's what they called it. 
See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and kick. Here's the first snap after the big play. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The Eagles now move the chain. Hey, nice route by the wide receiver that time. Good throw by the quarterback. It reminds me of the days with the Miami Dolphins. Paul Warfield running those corner routes. And Bob Greasy put it right on target. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson, and it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Deshaun McCoy is in the backfield. Fixed back in shotgun formation. Under fire on that throw. <laughs> Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Vic got it in the gun. Trying to work that left side. Knocked away, incomplete. Good job by the cornerback reading the wide receiver. He is all over him, and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. Macklin's lined up now as a slot receiver. He'll throw it over the middle. The Eagles get a first down. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Draw play. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second and 11. Throws the pass. Almost intercepted that time. McCoy's in the backfield. Single back set. Going across the middle. Jackson's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Can the defense make a stop? The bent a lot here in this drive. They had the offense backed up. They let him march down the field. Now you're in the red zone. Make the right call and stop him. First down, throwing again. Sticks to his hands. Bringing the play to an end. Tim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. You got a lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down. Second and six to the ground here. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. This has been a long drive so far. Into the open flat. Ball slipped out of his hands. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Offense lines up here. Looks to his left. Searching popped up the football. Well, that's just a bad play call that time by the coach. It's fourth down. You've had a long drive that goes down the field, and you make that call, you deserve to go off the field. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Now first and ten. Working that left side. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. To the right. He stacked up at that point. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Smith's lined up in the slot. Second down and five. Setting up a little screen. Right past one player. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. 
Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. That wraps up the third quarter here in downtown Charlotte. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. After the long game, let's see what they do here. D'Angelo Williams going to lose yards here. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Offense lines up here. Second and 12, looking across the middle, brings it in. He'll be brought down, but not before taking up the first down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done there. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards, nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. They bring in the extra tight end. First and 10th as they go ground here. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Quarterback drops back, play action. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. Throwing now to his left. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit and knocks that football loose. Olson's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Newton in shotgun formation. This is going to set up a change of possession. I'll just say this, Jim. When you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. Now in first down. Hand off, trying to plow ahead. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second and six. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the catch in the open field. Eagles in the end zone. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. Inside of the uprights. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Setting up return. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and ten. This is a screenplay all the way. They bring him down at the 33 yard line. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He's scrambling now. 
looking to the right side and throwing. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Defense is about discipline, and when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers a little overzealous. They get out of the rush lanes. The quarterback gets outside and makes the play. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Escaping the pressure. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. First down here. Newton still touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. If the defense is not going to play for the quarterback sneak, then make them pay for it. Take advantage of it. That's what the offense did. The quarterback took advantage. The Panthers lined up now for the point after. Extra point was good. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. Good touchback. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. Vick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Got to make that play. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow, but the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And Once he gets a little... Um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it? To see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. Two-minute warning. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. That'll stop the play right there. Well, that time they got great pressure on the quarterback. He stood in the pocket as long as he could, but once he broke outside, still looking down the field, trying to get that big pass play, it's not there. He takes off, and what a nice game running the football. This play set up by the long gainer. Setting up screen and complete. A gain of 18. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. It's a terrible job by the defense. Hoopers, a receiver in the slot. Staying with the passing game on first down. The throw to the left. Quinton Michael with the pick. 
They bring him to the curb. Head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. Hauls it in for the first down. Steps out of bounds. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. The Panthers get set to snap the football. Only one timeout remaining here in the fourth. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Panthers have come back late in this one. An extra point away from tying it up. The point after try is in the books. These two teams have been battling it out all day long. And now in the waiting minutes, the game is tied. Yeah, it is. And it's... Hey, look at all the big plays we've had here so far today. And I think just in the waning moments, you know what? We'll see one more big play that's going to decide this game. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. This game is all tied up, and it's headed to the wire. Scrambling out of the pocket. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket, and it takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Vic will be under center. Third and nine. Play fake here. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Browns lined up as the single back. On the money. Out. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Anytime an offense goes forward on fourth down, the defense knows if they go out there and stop them, it can just change the game around completely. Well, they didn't get it done that time. Now they got to look out for something special. Looking to go up top again on first down. Under pressure and incomplete. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You gotta throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there, they're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. He takes it on the counter. When you have a defense, he's not playing good techniques. They're selling out, overplaying plays. Well, you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. And in for the touchdown. What an absolutely crazy finish to this one. The long touchdown pass that finds the mark and the walk-off victory. Oh, so much talent. How about the play? The offense, the quarterback, he had the time to load up and throw it deep down the field and a beautiful catch by the receiver. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. The last thing you wanted to do First here down. was kick it out of bounds. Oh. 
This will be the final snap. First and ten. And now Cam Newton with the deep throw makes the play. A tightly contested contest that has now come to a conclusion. A final play touchdown to win the game. What a finish to remember. Yeah, how about that? The last play of the game to score a touchdown. That will, hey, 20 years from now, you'll still be thinking about this game.